and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about how cold is too cold to ride an e-bike like at what temperature do you say uh, uh I'm not going and does it depend on the wind and the reason what has me coming up with this topic to talk about today is this morning now I ride my e-bike to and from work each day and this morning when I left just shortly after five in the morning for work the temperature was sitting at 23 degrees and then with the wind it felt like 15 so but of course that didn't stop me from riding the bike the skies are clear right now the roads are dry so um i didn't mind it i mean the only thing that bothered me would be the wind if there was no wind it wouldn't have bothered me even at all even even so but even even that it didn't really bother me as long as you dress warmly enough and uh So that made me think, well, we're kind of lucky here where I am in Oregon, where we don't get that kind of weather very often. And it made me think, gee, what do other people do? Like uh, if you're in Minneapolis, for example, or uh, uh, Chicago, you know, uh, places like that. I mean, you know, what do you do? Uh, like where do you draw the line i mean a lot of us now it's winter right no, uh, no, no matter where you're at it's winter but most of us now we're probably dealing with you know, winter conditions whereas we're here in oregon we're kind of lucky where we kind of have that in between we're not real cold and we're not snowy you know and that kind of thing but uh so we're kind of lucky. So th this was a little bit on the extreme side for us to be that cold this morning, you know, to have a temperature of uh, 23 and a wind chill of uh, 15. So that, for, for those of you who are, who are in uh, metric uh, system, that would be minus five Celsius and with the wind chill minus 10. That was our uh, temperature this morning. But right now it's warmed up, it's a pleasant, uh, 41 degrees and uh, the wind is 34 so that would be like 5 Celsius and 1 uh, Celsius with the wind I don't mind this at all you know with the Sun shining I think what makes it not so good is if you have precipitation uh, coming down or or bad roads you know conditions I think the road conditions are more would be a more concern for me than the uh, temperature. And I don't know what my threshold is for uh, temperature. I don't know where I would uh, draw the line. I think more te than temperature for me would be the wind. If I've got a temperature of 23 like this morning, let's say, but the wind chill made it feel like below zero, that might make me uh that might make me pause i don't know and the other thing is can the bike handle it i don't know what these uh bikes can do to be honest i don't know what the how, how what's the uh maximum cold these bike uh, batteries will uh be okay for or motor you know uh, um are we okay to ride in uh sub-zero I don't know um, but anyway um, interesting uh, interesting topic though you know like so for you for example wherever you are I know if you're in California or Florida or Arizona or something or Texas you're probably laughing saying uh, it's not a problem here um, but uh, let me know uh, where you're at and uh, where do you draw the line? Is it the, is it the, uh, gotta get below uh, zero or like just what, would you have ridden like me today 
Um, in uh, 23 degrees, wind making it feel like 15, or is that a bit much? And it may also, uh, another factor in this may be uh, how far you're riding, right? If you're riding, I think if you're riding more than 30 minutes, that might be a little bit much uh, for riding. But uh, if you're only riding 10 minutes or 15 minutes or up to a half an hour, maybe even, you might be fine, right? Um, and we're all different. We all have different thresholds, just like pain and anything else, right? We, some of us can withstand more than others. And uh, for me, days like today, right now, this is beautiful. Like I, the sun shining, uh, there's a little bit of a breeze, not much. I know you notice it more uh, when it's colder and also you generate a little bit of breeze by riding too but uh, I don't mind this at all I kind of like this uh, you know it's not it's not unbearable or anything it's it's to me it's almost pleasant you know you might want it just a little bit warmer but um, geez I think I could ride for an hour you know like this in this kind of condition um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, where you're uh, at and uh, what do you do uh, in the winter? Uh, these, uh, if it gets extremely cold where you are, like, uh, is there a threshold for you? Or do you say, uh, I draw the line there, you know, at whatever temperature? Or is it more on the conditions? Because I'm sure lots of places in the winter don't have, like I have down here, you know, the pavement uh, perfectly dry and, and and not a problem at all um just to give you an idea of what it's like here in oregon at least in this part of oregon and i'm just uh about 12 miles uh, south of uh, portland so i'm in the portland metro area they call this and uh basically grass grass gets uh, uh cut year round i mean they mow their lawns year round here as you can see right there it's uh they've just had theirs cut recently that's just uh in the uh where we live here and that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel if you like this video hit that like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.